Okay guys, my name's Brian aka Busy and I've been printing t-shirts for over 25 years now and all things garments, embroidery etc. If you want to learn about t-shirt printing and customization, you are at the right channel. Please hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, let's get right into it. Okay guys, Brian here from ELP Print and today I'm going to show you how to prep your artwork for printing. We get a lot of questions about people prepping their artwork, how to bring stuff in from Canva as well as Photoshop. So I'm going to be doing a couple videos just to show you how to do that. So kicking off today, we're going to do Adobe Photoshop, how to set up your file so that it's print ready and the quality is good to go. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to create a new file and then you want to set the dimensions up. Now, if you download our PDF from the website, it gives you various dimensions on the size of the graphics and stuff that you should be setting your sizes to. Now, for example, we've got different palettes here. This is for DTG. If you want to go for a jumble palette, you're looking at 38 wide by 48 high standard palette 45 by 32 and a small kids plaid palette is 26 by 33 and that would apply to like stuff like hoodies as well because hoodies actually has a limited area in terms of height where you can actually uh, put your logo same goes for say a kids baby grow etc so i'm going to give you a general size that i tend to go with and it, this is a size that is scalable Okay guys, so in Photoshop you want to set your width to about 30 centimeters wide, the height 42 and the resolution 300. 300 is optimal for a t-shirt but you'll get really good detail setting it to that. So we hit create and then this is an A3 document. So now everything that you do inside this area here will be of good quality when you export it common mistake that people do is they download stuff on the internet and they try to use it and then when we go to print it you provide the artwork but it's usually about the size of a stamp so let's say for example you know you have a design my t-shirt click that there you pick your nice font and you scale it up so just imagine that this is pretty much you know the printable area of the front of the t-shirt so you go like that my t-shirt say Brian's I don't know, 50th for example right you do something like that set your graphic up and optimize your graphic so it takes up you know the area that you want in general I'd say the first top half of the graphic would be for the chest area and if you want to go pretty much down the whole body and you'd scale it accordingly like so pick your fonts do what you got to do obviously the creative process is down to you but this is just an idea so you can export at the right size now I'm not going to go too much into the design aspect of it because this is not a design video it's just a video to get your you know, graphic right so now what you do here is is you would get all this done once you finish your design now you, you see where it says background here you double click here you make that into a layer and you delete the background you'll see all these little transparent pixels all this little checkered area is transparent and then once you've set your design up and it's the size that you want it on the shirt you can hit Control and T you could go to here set it in centimeters and you can have a little measure up on your own shirt to work out roughly uh, and you could get kind of an idea of how big your graphic is going to be remember it works on a one size all fits graphic so you wouldn't have a different size graphic for size small medium large t-shirt it's an it's an average of one design for all because it's, it's much more cost effective doing it that way and also another kind of analogy to relate to is imagine a McDonald's logo the person who's in a double XL doesn't have a bigger logo to the person who's in a size small all the logos are the same that way it looks uniform so once you finish that now guys you would then hit the trim button and you would trim your logo so that it goes right to the edge of the design and that way it gets optimal save your design out as a PNG file now the old Photoshop just used to let you do it you've got to make sure your modes in RGB so you go export and you could go export as PNG file we do have some templates on our website for you to download I'll put a link in the description for that as well and that should help you out I hope that helps you out guys in any way if you get anything out of it 
give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, thank you.